Do you want to know the difference of real estate income versus real estate wealth? Then this video is for you. After going through this video, you're going to learn everything there is to know about real estate income, wealth, and the differences. And it's all going to begin right after this. Hey everyone, Josh Tavares, Realtor at the XP Realty covering the greater Toronto area. It would mean so much if you can help us out. And hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and jiggle the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. And if you want access to our seller's guide, comment seller's guide down below and I'll send that your way. Without further ado, let's begin. Now let's talk about real estate income. You have cash flow from properties, flipping properties, and even wholesaling. Now with cash flow, essentially with your rental properties, you all may know, it would be revenue minus expenses and whatever's left over is your cash flow that you can use however you feel. Now with flipping properties, essentially is purchasing a property that is run down less than its optimal value, renovating it with minimal costs, putting it on the market and selling it for a difference, right? And then with wholesaling, it's essentially finding a similar property, but instead of buying the property, you are putting it on contract to have it sold within that transactional period for conditional closing with typically about five days you're selling it off to about a general contract or an investor you're selling that contract for about five to ten thousand depending on whatever fees you're selling it to them in which they're able to quickly take the property on renovate it sell it for profit now with real estate cash flow typically it's going to come from your buy and hold properties and with real estate income as a whole it's going to be something that you're only going to be able to generate in a one-time transaction as soon as you remove yourself from the property and transact and sell it you no longer have any ability to generate anything from that property so you'd have to have multiple properties that you're transacting on in order to have income continue to come in which it can be very good income now real estate wealth is essentially purchasing a property and holding it over the long term. It's more of a long-term strategy. It is not a get-rich-quick strategy. And where over the long term, you're gonna have your mortgage paid down, your appreciation your property will go up, you're gonna have the ability to leverage your equity, right? You'll be able to renovate it to increase more value and have tax advantages if it's a rental property that in which you can pay no taxes at all and you can leverage your equity to purchase more properties or continue to build upon the property site and build more units for additional forms of income. Now you may be saying to yourself, where am I gonna go to find properties? Now Toronto is pretty good for condominiums given the price range. However, if you're gonna look for houses, you're gonna wanna go further out. And the fundamentals you're gonna look for places just outside the greater Toronto area that the migration and the benefits economically are now benefiting other regions based on the spill off of the prices going up. You want places with a low unemployment rate, high participation rate, places with high migration, places where you're seeing an increase in rental rates, property values. There are now larger companies coming in on site and investing into the community. Lower taxes and less barriers to entry for some of these businesses are the things you want to look for when searching your region to select. I can't stress how important it is to start soon as you can on research in these areas because property rates are increasing at a rapid rate. And if you wait six months to a year, you could be easily paying over 50,000 to maybe 100,000 more based on how crazy the market has gone. So I highly recommend do your research, find a region, stick with the region, look for properties, know what you're looking for, and go all into that community when searching for properties to purchase. Now, ways to build wealth also with real estate, you can do a flip and hold, which is purchasing a property below value, renovating it, fixing it, not selling it, but keeping it for tenants. And over the long term, you're gonna see a substantial amount of equity in which you can use from your original property to create a much larger portfolio of five, 10, 15 properties down the road. Now there's going to be some financial barriers down the road. So you may need some strategic, clever financing with other partners involved in order to continue growing your portfolio. Also, you have rent to own where you can essentially purchase the property, work alongside with the tenant who has the opportunity to potentially sell who may not have the down payment, the credit score might not be as good, but they have good incomes and they have good capability in a couple of years being able to straighten out their situation to own the property from you in which once the contract is over, the tenant has the first right to acquire the property that they, if they have the ability to acquire financing from a lending institution, you would sell that property, 
to the tenants, not only generating cash flow, but also creating a high amount of profit in the process that you can use to purchase another property. And also long-term buy and hold strategy, very similar to the first one in where you're essentially buying a property. It doesn't even have to be a flip. It could be something exactly at market value, turnkey at this moment. And in the long run, it's going to increase both equity, have a substantial amount of appreciation, mortgage pay down, tax advantages, everything that I mentioned earlier, and it's gonna build so much wealth for you that you'll be able to refinance and even generate a enough income perhaps that you can help suffice your own lifestyle. Now with real estate wealth, there's typically going to be some planning in the very beginning and you're essentially gonna hold it for the long term. So you're gonna be planning in terms of where you're gonna purchase, what you're looking for, going through the transactional process, any renovations, and essentially once you hold it, at, there's minimal action really needed, just maintaining the property and having good tenants pay on time and managing it, but there's not gonna be a lot of planning going from there. However, with real estate income, there's going to be a lot of planning from the beginning to the very end, because you need to know the area you're investing in, know the property you're going after, get under contract, purchase it, get contractors on site at the best rate, flip it, put it on the market, sell it. So the whole process is a very much intensive project management time in which you have to be on top of to have the most amount of profitability. So from the beginning of doing a fix and flip all the way to the very end, there's going to be a ton of planning. There are many different people who want to get into investing, go to many different real estate investing seminars, never take action, work with the realtor, look at properties all the time, never take the action to purchase a property and miss out on unbelievable gains that they would have reached had they made the action, done the proper research and gone through about everything correctly, especially if they would have gone a property management company that would have saved them so much time. But I highly recommend guys, there are many people that we've met with who were not able to take action and missed out on hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity appreciation that they could use to build a portfolio, build wealth, and help build their income. And like I said, real estate wealth is long-term focus. Not get rich quick, right? But it's going to get you rich. Now, real estate income is going to give you a high amount of income today with a higher amount of volume needed in order to build that. There are many different investors who are generating over four to fifty thousand dollars of profit per property they transact on, and some of these flippers transact on multiple properties every single month, generating a very wonderful income. Now, if you want to know which one is safer, buying and holding long term is much safer. It's going to come with its own risks in terms of the property type, the tenants you have, but it's less time sensitive. Now, with anything income generated, it's very time sensitive in terms of getting the property on contract, getting contractors on site, getting it renovated, getting it sold. The longer you have it on site, more costs associated that it's gonna be much harder for you to profit on this endeavor. Like I said, it's super important to take action, know your risks, be super informed so you can make the right decision and build hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of wealth for you and your family, all from a small, rental project that can build into apartment buildings, it can build into industrial properties down the road if things really rapidly grow and has the unlimited potential to grow into unlimited amount of units that you're willing to take on, all from something small that many massive investors have all started with a couple of small little properties and eventually grown and 10X, 100X into thousands of properties. So this has unbelievable amount of wealth generating opportunities as well as a number of units that you can acquire. I hope this video is super helpful and insightful and gives you everything that you need to know about real estate wealth and real estate income. It means so much if you can help us out and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. And if you want to know about the top three cities to invest in Ontario right now, Click on the card in the above and I select the best ones that you need to get into now before you get outpriced. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care.